Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about how can you add the product to the Stripe payment gateway. Let's start. So as you already know, uh, SaaS is a like, as you already know, Stripe is a like a preferred payment gateway for most of the SaaS builder, bootstrapper and more people. And it also handles the VAT thing somewhat not in all countries but and you can take a payment from from, from variety of the uh, uh, type you can get a payment by the credit card debit card ach different different type of the wallets and everything so in this today video how you can implement this into a bubble project so let's start so let me just open the first uh, bubble project i'm going to be starting from very scratch and before going forward, uh, let me tell you what exactly we are going to do it. So we are going to implement the e-commerce website where we will add a product, how you can add a product on an e-commerce website and same on your Stripe page. And how can you build the card and how can you ask the payment basically. So let me just create a, some sample project, Stripe, uh, sample, Stripe e-commerce. Empty, I think. So this is happening. And um, let me just show you. We are going to use a Stripe API. So Stripe provide a lot of API. So uh, it is processing. It is also processing. So uh, Stripe provide a lot of API. Like this is the basic intro. You can get to how authentication works. You know. Stripe API and everything we will go in deep and for the anything you want to understand how exactly the API works go through this doc this doc is well so sufficient so uh, just ignore that close uh, we will create first page uh, first one is add product page I think just create it First, we are going to be the set up the Stripe, how exactly you are going to set up. So if you go into plugin and first install the API connector. So uh, here you will click on add another API, make it Stripe. And now you go to the documentation of the Stripe API. First is authentication, how you can set up the authentication and this auth bubble authentication, sorry, not bubble, uh, Stripe authentication require you to pass the uh, token into your, uh, into your uh, headers basically. So for, uh, this is how they implement it. So you can use a test mode or live mode, but we are going to use a very test mode and they have already uh, Specific guy here, user sk underscore test mode. And how you pass the uh, token? This is how key is authorization, where is token, and this is the token. Uh, so, how you will get the token? So, we will go to our Stripe documentation. So, first, you need to Stripe uh, set up your uh, sign up as your account and set up your company details and everything. After you, once you're done, you will come on this page. This is the dashboard of the Stripe page. Click here on the developer uh, button. Uh, just click on secret key. You need to create it. Uh, there's a pretty standard uh, and entering the password. Taking too much time. Okay. So uh, I already generated the uh, like api key secret key but you can also generate it uh there is a directly button is there you can build button there you can directly use it or uh, alternatively you go to the api key and just create a, there will be one but since i already created one uh secret key there will be one more button to uh generate that stripe key copy that copy that and now come back to your project First, what we are going to do is uh, first we have to set up a private key in the author, author key there, and we have to pass the first 
static keyword that is bearer and copy the token yeah so this is okay this is the for the development they have changed something so we also pass here to this is for development this is for the production now uh, we are going to make it action call first is create product and how we are if you go into so before, so whoever don't understand it what exactly we are doing in your any uh, in any commerce website whenever you see these all are the product uh, not this this one uh, this is the product basically so we will first create that product and that product will automatically created on your uh, on your website on your stripe page also so what we do uh, first we go here and search for the product now this is the product object and product everything and this is the end url that you need to call for the create product and you so one is thing is just copy its uh, curl request just copy it from here and delete this import another call from the sql copy paste and that's it that's what you need to do but here is a uh, your url is perfectly fine make changes create product this is the pro uh, post call but i know there is one more issue is there you need to pass the content type here so my content type is uh, that is unicode so uh, i got the that the space kit here <clears throat> that is the value application slash x <coughs> play the form you are encoded this is the private thing and now just remove that now you can form data mm -hmm. uh, that is a key uh, now you have to find the key so if you want to go in the documentation and just see these are all the parameter you can pass but you cannot pass the id into your create parameter create product thing so you you will get that id from the stripe if everything is successful so we will just copy the name key pass it is a uh, text key and pass this uh, we will not make it private because we want a user to change it make it as a Uh, we will make it JSON and make it as a query string. Uh, next four parameters we will also add active. Active basically means this product is active or not. Yeah, obviously we are creating a new product. We want it active. Description is product description that we want to add. Uh, this is the description. Next is metadata. We don't require the metadata. But we require other parameter like images and you can even pass the image and everything. So we will uh, copy that images. And since this is a array, list of up to eight URL of that image. So how we will do it? Images zero and all are passed as a query string. And here we will just uh, any URL that we want to pass. Everything is done. Check this, check this. Now we will call initialize the call to check everything is working or not. Yeah, everything is working. If you see the data, you get an ID, product ID basically. So this is how your product create product APIs is done. Now we will go into the, so now if you go into your Stripe account, uh, uh, and go into that product. now this is the test key that we have just added it got added here but here is no price there we will add the price and everything now this is the test description yeah so first we uh, create by one by ui so we will create a one random after that uh, start from now here so now we will build a basic design to add the product into our stripe page uh, let me just uh, get the input Import, uh, that is product description one is uh, we are adding a picture uploader to send the picture and now one more button make it as a 
create uh, name it create button or uh, create product uh, this is a picture of product that is a product description product name sorry not description this is the this is product description now we will call the api uh, just click over here click on start and add uh, create product yes name this is the input to product name value always use a trimmed after the string so that your extra spaces is there they will are when is uh, this is input the description value so we can also make an uh, active thing as a private uh, value and the important thing is here you cannot pass the directly uh, picture uploader value because picture uploader value don't have a HTTPS at a beginning. If that is not there, Stripe will not recognize that as a URL. So you have to append HTTPS. HTTP. Yes. Yeah, this one. And now that yeah, now they will uh, picture uploader. Sorry, picture uploader, its value, that's it. And now we will create, uh, yeah, everything is fine. Yes, create value, value, and everything is done. One more important thing, uh, let me just show you. Just refresh this page. While uploading the picture, always use uh, images that don't have a space in between. This is a slight bug into, uh, into the stripe. So whenever you pass that image that have a space in their image name, so the URL that you get from the bubble, Stripe will never recognize that. They have always been there. So keep uh, check on it, or you can use a one regress function to uh, remove that space from the image name. Uh, product description. Okay, we will copy that from one Amazon. Uh, just uh, this is the product name. We'll copy here and now the product description. Copy from here. And now, now we click on the create product. The process is happening and there is no bug. Uh, we will go on the Stripe. So, Stripe product page. Let's refresh the page. See our product is available here or not. Yeah, you are done. Your product is there. Your name that is a product name, that is a product description, that is an image. So this is how you create product API. Done.